Yes, yes, yes. I was wrong about Black Ops 4. Yes, I was wrong, and here I am admitting it yet again on camera like I did with the NES Mini in this video right here. Now I know Call of Duty isn't for a lot of you, just like FIFA games aren't really for me, but I can appreciate the time and effort the devs put into these amazing AAA titles, and I can appreciate YouTubers, streamers, reviewers, you name it, that put the time into playing these games and talking about these games, and I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Beta, which I have been streaming all weekend. Now, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was an idiot again. Because I went into this thinking, this is going to be shit. And I don't know why I thought that, because I think my expectations were completely off, having had a great time playing Call of Duty World War II. Now, I wanted boots on the ground, and we have boots on the ground in Black Ops 4. I've never been a campaign girl. I've always been multiplayer, team deathmatch, kill confirmed, and of late, hard points. So, is it worth it? Should we be excited for Black Ops 4? Should we get it on the pre-order? My answer is very simple. If you've liked previous Call of Duty games, you're going to be missing out if you don't pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now this is not a sponsored video, this is my opinion, and I was pleasantly surprised because the game itself offers six maps in beta. I don't know how many we're gonna get in the final product, but more than ever, we've had, this is the most amount of maps we've ever had on a beta. Usually it's two, three at max, um, and I haven't played a beta since IW, which I thought was Hey, listen. Sorry if that offended you. Um, so we get a choice of six maps, and then next month we get to play the Blackout um, back in Royale mode, which I'm really looking forward to. Now, what's different for me this time is uh, the maps just seem to really, really work. There's a lot on Black Ops 3 that I didn't really like. I thought the maps were quite dull. I thought the colour palette was crap. I had like, a lot of greys, browns, and, you know, kind of creamy kind of coloured maps. These maps are really vibrant and add a really nice balance to people that like to be kind of in the broken down buildings versus outdoors on beaches and things like that. So there's a there's like a wide array of maps going into this beta. Now I thought to myself, that's a clever marketing move. That is a clever move because now more than ever, Call of Duty is under fire. A lot of people say that the entire franchise is dead. A lot of people think it should end, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. But Activision really pulled it out of the bag and they needed to make this beta bait um, in order for people to buy the game. And they did so by serving up six awesome maps with the option to play team deathmatch in two other modes which I've forgotten because I haven't played them. Um, so I think off the bat, kudos to the developers for giving us such um, a kind of like a rich experience really with the beta. So I'm super stoked. Um, now in terms of weapons, you can't actually create your class in the beta um, until you reach level five, but you do start off with a gnarly little class um, there's loads of differences within the classes, like now you've got this healing ability, which is um, by default attached to R1. So if you think on previous Call of Duty games, you got your R1, L1 for your grenades, um, but now you've got like, you can pick a different specialist. So you've got your normal class, so you've got your primary, your secondary, your, um, you know, you've got your attachments and things. And then before you dive into the actual game and start playing, on multiplayer, you can pick a specialist, and depending on which specialist you pick, and there's over 10 of them, which again is fantastic because it adds a lot of variation, you have a different ability attached to the R1 button. So for example, on some of them you can kind of lay down barbed wire traps, on others you can use a grapple hug, there's the ability to throw a cluster grenade, and then once that's, and they regenerate, so like, you can lob your grenade, for example, with the uh, specialist battery, and then that will replenish, and then you can do it again, so on and so forth. And that is the same with the health as well. So if you're getting pummeled, you're getting pummeled, you're getting pummeled, you jam in the health, and you can continue the game. Now, before we talk about the next stage, what do I think about the specialists? I think it's fan effing tastic. Like, I didn't expect that much kind of variety for a COD game because yes, it's been kind of getting stale, not gonna lie, I've always liked it, but always played every COD game, but it has been getting pretty darn stale. So I think that adds another layer 
um, of versatility alongside your class you can have your specialist and then you've got the usual you know you can kind of customize your score streaks so uavs the rcxd is back of course which was flipping awesome when black ops i think it was black ops 2 is it black ops 1 black ops 2 came out ah oh, when did the rcxd come out let me know in the comment section below um so i'm i'm happy like off the bat as a beta you are getting a lot you are getting a lot and for those of you on xbox who are yet to even have this as an option to play i think a lot of you skeptics are going to be in for a surprise so if you haven't pre-ordered i suggest you hurry up and get a freaking code now went into a stream on friday right and i'm sat there literally as i'm about to go live thinking oh my god this is gonna be so bad like i, I don't know what i'm gonna do how am i gonna get out of the world war ii mode in me but it went really really well and along with that every streamer's nightmare is when servers are down or your equipment itself playing up my equipment was fine and surprisingly the playstation 4 servers were fine i can't speak for you i can only speak for me but i had a solid three hours in which i got into every game but i will say the slight downside was that the intermission between the game finishing and another one restarting was absolutely insane. Now, as a streamer, for me, that was great because it gave me a chance to interact with my audience. But if you're a player and you don't stream and you just play alone, I can see that becoming quite frustrating. So bear that in mind. Um, but for me, it was great because it's easy to kind of uh, time film read out some tweets and whatever else um but we'll see if that changes i'm thinking in the final product that will change and they'll kind of condense it down a little bit things will become more stable um so we will see but yeah a lot of you guys in the chat were complaining that the intermission was way too long having played it yourselves so in terms of maps then like i said there are six there's only one out of the six that i really cannot stand it's called payload and it's so freaking bland and i i was worried going into black ops 3 beta that the whole thing was going to be bland cookie cutter generic black ops stuff you know which would have been fine for some people because there are some hardcore black ops fans out there um, that you know really think that the, the previous three games work and they do but i was ready for something fresh i was ready for something new the slide ability is back um obviously there's no power jump there's no boost jump there's no thrust jump whatever you want to call it um but the game is fast when combined with this sliding um you know there's a frantic pace to the game the maps are a really nice size aside from payload which i freaking hate um but I'm, I'm really really happy with it guys and i can't recommend it enough and there were a lot of people in my chat that were saying wow i'm actually going to pre-order this um you know where how do i get my code da, 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 da. and you know what if you pre-order and you decide against it you can just spend that pre-order money on something else and at least you've got a chance to play the beta so what what's kind of next then well like i said earlier in this video we got the blackout beta dropping next month in september 2018 depending on where you're watching this um and i'm really i'm kind of like internalizing the same level of skepticism than what i did with the multiplayer like thinking this could be shit this could be you know but i'm kind of a little bit more open-minded now i think this could really come off and we know that there, i think it's either like 50 60 players in this uh, call of duty battle royale and i think that is a nice amount i'm ready for it it'll be interesting to see the map and how that kind of works and how you interact as a player with the map the different you know uh, levels areas etc different modes of transport that's what i'm really interested in um but they're saying that it's going to be the biggest map like ever like it's going to be huge so i'm super excited to see how they they kind of spin the battle royale in call of duty i think it's a bold move by activision um and yeah if it takes a few players away from fortnite now i think like with fifa games and past call of duty games they can become very stale very quickly and i know a lot of you guys out there are a little bit wounded that there's no campaign let me know if you're one of those people how do you feel about call of duty black ops 4 not having a, a campaign and still being full price uh, for me personally i'm not interested in campaign at all i haven't played campaign since the uh, call of duty 4 back in 2008 or 2007 2008 when i first played it i think it was 2008 it's 2008 it was 2009 whatever um i've always been a, a multiplayer gal i find it it's so kind of like reward reward kill reward you get that kind of flash up on the screen with the score you get your score streaks in i find it to be like instant gratification and that's why i love call of duty um but i'm sorry if this video doesn't apply to you and if you have made it to the end and it still doesn't apply to you please enter this hashtag right here bolt it onto the front of your comment in the comment section below so i know you're super loyal and you've watched this far 
So there we go guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think Call of Duty is far from dead. I think the big, big, big test is going to be in September when we've all had a chance to play or view people playing the Blackout Battle Royale mode. So I will make another video about that and how I found it um, because I was a, I was like with PUBG from very, very early on in early access. It came out in 2017, March. I started playing in June 2017 on my PC right the way up to version 1.0 when I just lost interest when the desert map came out. So that, that, that game for me, I will always hold it very dear to my heart, PUBG, even though I don't play it anymore, because it introduced me and got me so ingrained in the concept of Battle Royale games. Um, unfortunately, Fortnite doesn't do anything for me, but I'm actually hopeful now. I'm hopeful because multiplayer for me has been a ton of fun this weekend and I've enjoyed every minute on stream and you can actually check out, um, I will have had footage in this, but you can actually check out all those videos in the live stream playlist on my channel. Go and check out some additional footage. Uh, we had a ton of fun and thank you to everybody that got involved in my live streams. I really love live streaming and I hope more of you guys can join me on live stream um, on weekends and come and join every, you know, come and join at what we do hit sponsor you get extra perks there's loads and loads of cool stuff going on, on the stream so thank you right i have rambled enough hope you guys are having a great day i will be back this week for another video but for now check out the video in the cards hit subscribe hit like give it a share plenty for you guys to do my name is Gemma. take care see you soon